being saved is an idea in the household of the Christian faith that has become a false sense of security. It is true that Jesus saves us. He died on the cross. He resurrected that we could have everlasting life. But in order to be saved, we have to endure with Jesus to the very end of our life. We have to be faithful with him to the very end. A lot of Christians have this false security that they're saved because when they were 13 years old, they prayed a prayer. They said that they were sorry for their sins. They wanted salvation. They wanted to go to heaven. They believe in the name of Jesus Christ. And because they prayed that prayer, and now they're, say, 80 years old, they think that nothing in the middle counted, that they've always been saved, that no matter what they do, they can't lose their salvation, and God has to accept them into heaven. Christians are very entitled. They don't think that God would send them to hell for sins. But Jesus judges every single one of us according to our works. He will render according to our works. So we have to be very careful not to be like the entitled Christians, thinking that because they said a magic prayer 50 years ago, that we will be saved. Are you living right today with the Lord Jesus? Are you obeying him? Are you steadfast with him? Are you teaching your children to obey the Lord? Is your life a living testimony? Or are you a hypocrite? Are you like the Christians who think that they're saved, but are on their way to hell?